words of three syllables. Here we're going to look at a few things. One, we're going to pay close attention to the doubled letter, which I'll explain what's happening with it here. Here we have the first word. Now, in the modern Israeli, which is sort of halfway between Ashkenazi and Sephardi, it's not actually Sephardi pronunciation, you will hear Ha Torah. But notice the Dagesh inside the T here. The first syllable, Ha, is not um, simple, but it's complex. It's closed with a T. So it's Hat. But it's not Hat or Ra. The T is then repeated again in the second syllable. So Hat Torah. Hat Torah. And this T with the Dagesh inside it goes both to the first syllable and the second. So it's like it's written with two T's. Hat Torah. If you're used to um, restored classical Latin, you'll be familiar with these double consonants. In English, of course, it's difficult because we don't pronounce them. We don't say difficult, we say difficult. We don't say suggest, we say suggest. And we slide our double consonants into one. Um, if you're in Italian, it's much easier because you're used to pronouncing double consonants. Hat Torah. Ke amur. Ke amur. The ayin is pronounced like the sound in sing. Sing. It's not that complicated in our Spanish and Portuguese pronunciation. So, ne nehem. Ne nehem. You need to watch out that this vowel here, the e sound in modern Hebrew, has become affected by the Ashkenazi pronunciation. And you'll hear a, not e. E nehem. It's a clear e sound, a long e. It's not a diphthong with the yud. E nehem. Ngasanu. Ngasanu. Right here, you should be trying to read it yourself before I read it, of course. Bo ke ang. Bo ke ang. Watch out that here it's ang and not ng. Bo ke ang. Ma shala, ma shala. No la dim, no la dim. Here we have a doubled letter, so it's not mi kereb, but mik kereb, mik kereb. Mo abim, mo abim. Doubled yud, hai. Yamim, hai yamim. Two doubled letters here. Ham, mas, sa. Ham, mas, sa. Shomayim. Hong eitzim, hong eitzim. Torato, Torato. She Adam, She Adam. Double letter. Yik kare, Yik kare. Double letter. Mish Shurat, Mish Shurat. Double letter. Tik kanes, tik kanes. Double letter. Han nahar, han nahar. Double letter. Me ash shur, me ash shur. Yo hi ach, yo hi ach. Notice this is ach, not cha. Yo hi ach. Double letter. Yish sha'er. Yish sha'er. Double letter. Bo am mim. Bo am mim. Yo he zun. Yo he zun. Double letter. Yik karet. Yik karet. 
That was better. Miss Sabib. Miss Sabib. That was better. Hin Nabe. Hin Nabe. Te a safe. Te a safe. O Banim. O Banim. Ba double letter here. Bad derech. Bad derech. Ya denu. Ya denu. Not ya denu. Right? It's not a. It's not a diphthong. It's ya denu. Tonge ba. Tonge ba. Uba a tem, uba a tem, with a glottal stop in the middle here, like in the English ba'a. Uba a tem, double letter. Han nachash, han nachash. Nge nehem, nge nehem. Nge rumim, nge rumim. Ay yekka, ay yekka. Echabe, echabe. Vay yomer, vay yomer. Ak kenu, ak kenu. Rim Madi, Rim Madi. La Dangat, La Dangat. Ha Chayim, Ha Chayim. Mik Kedem, Mik Kedem. Es Sater, Es Sater. Shab baton, shab baton. Va chesef, va chesef. Tolangat, tolangat. Kap porit, kap porit. Pe rohit, pe rohit. Ham mishcha, ham mishcha. Has sam mim, has sam mim. Hap pesach, hap pesach. Hangola, hangola. Vat tahel, vat tahel. Vai yamot, vai yamot. This is revision. It's been in the previous lesson. I'm going to go over it again. If you feel you know it, just miss this section of the recording out. Before continuing the rules for reading, the following must be noticed: that the schwa is sometimes sounded as e in open, and the letter under which it's placed with the following syllable. So. Lo mede, lo mede, and not lo mede, not lo mede, but lo mede. And that a stroke thus marked, called the makkaf, is sometimes placed between words to join them together, like the English hyphen. So, et kol, et kol, and in this case you only have an accent at the end, and this is specifically marked on the first word. And the two words are to be read as one, which then affects where the stress goes. Et kol. That in every word not followed by makaf, the stress of the voice must be in one of two places, on the last syllable or the one before the last. If on the last syllable the word is said to have a milrang accent, milrang at the end. And if on the one before the last, it is said to have a milngel accent. Milngel.
In the Bible, the accent is shown by certain marks over or under the letter. So here we have one. Katzin. Uh, Katzin. And this mark here, the etnach, shows that the syllable tzin is to be accented. And the word is milrang. Katzin. But in the word boenu, boenu, the syllable e is to be accented. And the word is milnel. It's not boenu, but boenu. Um, that the stroke, this little stroke here called gangya or meteg, is generally seen with the third point before the accent, or before a schwa, which then is generally sounded. So, ka bira, ka bira, a no hi, a no hi. And this stroke is half an accent, so we have, as I said, two beat points on the word. Da 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 and da da da. Not da 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 and da da da. So it's da 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 and da da da. And that's the effect of the gangya.